right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Or tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, the pending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Great. tonight. Good. All right, we're ready to go with round one. The Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Hennon Brown, Nova Uyao Staple, is ready to go tonight. How does he approach this challenge here tonight? Figures to have the grappling advantage. We've seen, though, a lot of striking from Hennon Brown of late. He can go a number of different ways tonight. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -uh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Let's go. Let's that Choice hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, you can hear that thwack in the nosebleeds as the kickboxer lands a body kick early here in the fight against the boxer. I mean, this is the range that he needs to fight at. He doesn't want to be close where he's throwing hooks to the body and punches. Use those legs, dig that shit into the body, and try to slow down your opponent. Job at least staying upright on that. 
And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to put forth this type of output. Of this. When his opponent has done that too, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Taunts. Oh, beautiful count. on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Counter punch landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, beautiful hook by Burrell. Nice jab. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Two minutes remain in the round. Overhand punch to the head. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. His work. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Sneaky head kick. Nice jab by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Straight right hand now just misses. Beautiful right hook counter. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Morale's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Oh, the hook lands. Final seconds. Right. Five minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side of a knockdown. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Straight right, he misses. And 
And now the jab gets through. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by the Korean Super Bowl. Barrow's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, and he goes to the hook now, it's good. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Barrow. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Unable to connect there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Barrow's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Joy gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Takedown defense holds up. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well. Oh, with authority, the body. Nice jab by Barat. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Fight back! Got that single follow time locked in. Big new win. Shots being landed on both sides here. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep, they're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, back and forth we go. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give Ready himself an opportunity. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice block. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Nice shot there by the chance. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Chor. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, oh man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Oh, Corral's got his hand looking for a guillotine. Ooh, it is tight now. Oh, my goodness, he's struggling to finish. That guillotine choke is getting very close. He's got to lock the guard, though, if he wants to finish. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Garau's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Well, he blocks the shot there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with the big right hand. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Lands a nasty body kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Barrow's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Nice jab. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Oh. Heavy leather leather. Oh, and how much more can he take? Goodness, he might have it. Working for that submission. It's always hard when you're trying to end the fight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent is hurting for certain. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots. Oh, he Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, heading back to the corner, and oh, Barrow's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may fight. be stopped. You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra... Oh, huge elbow! Back to his feet. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Barrow gets back up here. in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John.